Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. From here, we can write 1 as minus 1 plus 2. That is, what we have here can be written again as 3 raised to power a minus 1 plus 2, then plus 3 raised to power a minus 1, which is equals to 12 on this side. Then from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power a m plus n is equals to a raised to power m and a raised to power n. And here, let's treat m as a minus 1, then n as 2. So what we have becomes 3 raised to power a minus 1 times 3 raised to power 2, then plus 3 raised to power a minus 1 equals to 12 on this side the next step we can factor 3 raised to power a minus 1 out and this becomes 3 raised to power a minus 1 then into bracket here we have 3 square then plus here we have 1 left which is equals to 12 on this side then next step from here this becomes 3 raised to power a minus 1 then into bracket 3 square 3 times 3 that's 9 plus 1 then equals to 12 on this side that is what we have here becomes 3 raised to power a minus 1 times 9 plus 1 that's 10 equals to 12 on this side the next step we divide both sides by 10 that is divide here by 10 and also divide this side by 10 then what we have becomes yeah, then cancel each other. So we have 3 raised to the power a minus 1. Now equals to 12 over 10 from here. And also we can reduce this fraction. That is 2 can go here. And we have 3 raised to the power a minus 1. Then equals to 6 over 5. The next step from here, let's take the log on both sides. Then we have log. 3 raised to power a minus 1 now equals to log into bracket 5 6 over 5 from here and here from the power law of logarithm when we have log m raised to power p which can be written as p log m here what we have here a minus 1 is a power so this becomes a minus 1 multiplied by log 3 then equals to log 6 over 5 here then next step from here we divide both side by log 3 so divide this side by log 3 and also divide this side by log 3 here log 3 cancel each other we are left to it a minus 1 equals to log 6 over 5 over log 3 from here. Then from the right hand side here, we apply the law of logarithm. When we have log A over B, the same thing as writing log A minus log B. Then what we have here becomes a minus 1 equals to log 6 minus log 5 then over log 3. And also here we can separate this fraction into 2 from a minus b over c which can be written as a over c minus b over c. Then what we have becomes a minus 1 equals to log 6 over log 3 then minus log 5 over log 3 then here we can reduce this further that is 6 here can be written as 2 times 3 then what we have becomes a minus 1 equals to 
log 2 times 3 here, yeah? then over log 3 minus here we have log 5 over log 3. Then also applying the law of logarithm from when we have log a times b, this here can be written as log a plus log b. Then what we have here becomes a minus 1 equals to log 2 plus log 3, then over 3 here minus log 5 over log 3 then here as well we separate this fraction into two fractions and we have a minus 1 equals to log 2 over log 3 then plus log 3 over log 3 and minus log 5 over log 3 from here then when we reduce this log 3 cancels each other give us 1 on this side which implies we have a minus 1 equals to log 2 over log 3 plus 1 then minus log 5 over log 3 and next step from here we can rewrite this from change of base when we have log a over log b which is the same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes a minus 1 equals to we can write 1 here first and we have 1 plus here we have log 2 to base 3 now then minus here we have log 5 to base 3 then since we are finding here let's take minus 1 to this side as well become plus so we are left with a here now which is equals to 1 plus 1 that's 2 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 so here we have the solution to this given problem as a equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3. Now, we can check to confirm if this will satisfy the given problem. That is, here we substitute the value of a here, and what we have becomes 3 raised to power 2 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3, then plus 1 there, then also we have plus 3 raised to power a which is 2 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 then minus 1 here and with this b equals to 12 on this side then this is same thing as writing 2 plus 1 here that's 3 so we have 3 raised to the power 3 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 then plus here also 2 minus 1 that's 1 oh, that's 3 raised to the power 1 plus log 2 base 3 then minus log 5 with 3 here, with this be equals to 12 from here. Then, from here, we can apply the law of indices. From when we have a raised to the power m plus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n, and also a raised to the power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. Then, here, we can write this and we have 3 raised to power 3 times 3 raised to power log 2 is 3 then divided by here we have 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 and also 
here we have plus 3 raised to power 1 that's t3 then times 3 raised to power log 2 base 3 then divided by 3 raised to power log 5 base 3 with this be equals to 12 on this side that is from here 3 raised to power 3 3 multiply itself 3 times so that gives us 27 then times here this follows from when we have a raised to power log b to base a and here this is same thing as b so what we have here is same thing as 2 then over also here same thing as 5 then plus here we have 3 times here also following this it is also 2 then over what we have here is also 5 then is it equals to 12 from here that is here we have 27 times 2 which is 54 over 5 then plus here 3 times 2 that's 6 over 5 is it equals to 12 here then the LCM here is 5 so we still have 54 plus 6 over 5 which is 60 over 5 and is it equals to 12 here and of course 60 over 5 that's 12 which is equals to 12 on this side now left hand side equals to the right hand side then ends from here we can conclude that a equals to 2 plus log 2 base 3 minus log 5 base 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos turn on the notification bell share this video and give it a thumbs up put your comments in the comment section see you next class and bye for now